Is that working? All right, greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back to another super interesting video. My name is Andrew, and I will be your distraction for the next however long you feel like watching this this video. We are coming to you live from the allotment, going pro for the first time on my black superhero number eight. First things first, let's let out the ducks and their chickens. Quack, 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 quack. All right, girls. Yeah. How are we doing, ladies? All good? Yeah? Hello, girls. You want to come out? All right. Let's have a little look-see here. Unlocking. Unlocking. Chickens. Yeah. Come on, girls. Quack, quack, quack. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. They want to come out. They want to come out really bad. Uh, I'm holding that right. Quack, 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 quack. And put the brick. Uh, come on, girls. Out you come. Out you come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out. They're not sure. Quack, 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 quack. You gonna go in the pond? You gonna go in the pond? Yeah? Go for a swim. See? Once they're out and they're walking around, they're much quieter because they're, well, they're happy. They don't like being prisoners. I mean, who would? So, first time ever using a superhero GoPro number eight. Never even held one in real life before. And these things are tiny, man. It is a small little camera. Um, I have no idea what the recording is going to look like. I've done... This is the very, very first recording on this GoPro. All right? I haven't done any testing with it at all. But what I have done is my homework. Let's see. I went on to YouTube, right? And I searched for the optimal settings. And I watched various guys who had posted up their their settings and blah 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 whatever um, and then I came across this one dude uh, his YouTube channel is called biscuits alive right now this guy he's done all the legwork I mean these these cameras have been out now for a couple of years so in that time frame this chap has gone through every single setting and recorded his back garden to see which is the best setting for well what setting and I'll stick up on the screen the graft, which he's done, and you'll see it now. And then everything you see, which has got a green tick, is pretty much the best settings for that resolution, that frames per second, and blah, blah, blah. And then out of that long list, um, there are two recommended settings which he uses. And the one is the, the 4K, 30 frames per second, well, various frames per second, um, for the cinematic view. And then the other one, which is the 1080, uh, 120 frames per second, which is what I'm using now, is for his fast action recording stuff. I'm still learning all this crap. But <clears throat> instead of me spending hours and hours trying to figure out what settings are best for myself, I just went onto his channel. Big shout out to that guy, man. He's a legend for doing all the legwork. So hopefully, by following his recommendations, this should look all right yeah this should look quite good there's a few other settings at the end i'll put up another little picture um for the ev comp the iso min and max the shutter speed the white balance and a few other little things but i've just followed all of his recommendations and i'm hoping that i'll never have to change it again because i don't want to be faffing with that man i just want to push button record and then off i go so yeah it's looking good now let's check if we got any eggs Quack, 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 quack. Chuk, 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 chuk. Any eggs up here? This is also a test video to see if it goes blurry or out of focus and how it handles the change from the dark to the light. Uh, oh, not bump our head. Let's have a look in here. Oh, we've got a couple. I don't know if you can see that in the darkness. This is a test, like I said. Stretch. Grab those two. Two eggs. Putting on the floor. Pulling box. Oh, that was easy. Nice. Don't bump your head. There we go. 
<coughs> Stay. Let's have a look inside the box. Nothing inside the box today. Uh, pick up them too. I just want to see how long the battery lasts. I mean, it's already down to 90%. I've only been recording for five minutes. It's got a nice little screen on the front here. So I can record for an hour and 55 on my SD card. But I don't think the battery will last that long. No. Yeah, well. We'll figure that out as we go. Come on, chickens, get out. I want to go in there and check the eggs. Go. Okay, they're not moving. They will when I come in. Put those on the floor. Get off. Come on, get, get out. Get out. Get out. Just go out. There we are. Here we have two duck eggs. Uh, you, oh, don't, don't drop that fucking thing. Oh, I cracked it, man. Oh, that's going to have to be breakfast. All right. Closing. Oh, I can't believe I dropped it, man. Dumbass. Butter fingers. So, yeah, let me just. This is a little test. This one's got the whole hyper smooth, anti shake, fancy fancy. And then going into dark transition. Does it handle darkness? Let's put those eggs just over there. Uh, we can use this, this egg box. Let's put one and one. I'll have to take these home straight away. Let's put these in the car so I don't forget. Yeah, and as predicted, it started raining yesterday. It's raining now. That's the other beautiful thing about the using a GoPro instead of my phone. Yeah. This is waterproof. Hey, cool, huh? One in, one out. Empty box. Dogs! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You're gonna go do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> So you might be wondering why I'm recording on 120 frames per second. First reason, it was part of old Biscuits Alive recommendation. And then I was thinking about it. Um, should I ever be out walking with my dogs? And we see a squirrel or a rabbit or something dash off. And I managed to capture it, but it's so quick, I can then slow it down. And it'll be this cool slow motion animal running for its life while my dogs chase it. Yeah. Let's have a look at the fire pit that we did yesterday. Oh, it's raining, dude. It's raining. We're getting wet, Zeus. We're getting wet. So, fire pit. If you saw the last video, you can see that all the bamboo leaves and offcuts that I did, they actually it all burnt down to almost nothing. Quite pleased about that. Um, yeah, it's turning into a rather shitty day, but I don't mind the rain. You get wet and you get dry. Big deal. So, let me sit down over here. We have a little discussion about something. Something that I've been thinking about last night. Um, let me just wipe you. Wiping you, making you nice and clean. There we are. So, ugh, listen up. Let's extend you out, make you look a bit more professional. Eh? How's that? <coughs> Actually, I don't know how good this microphone is, so come closer. Part of my homework on YouTube, learning about all this uh, recording business and learning about the GoPro and learning about the settings, um, I stumbled across some videos of um, tips and tricks for new YouTubers starting up in 2021, which is the year it is now. And they give five, ten reasons of things which they would do, but there's two things which kind of stood out the most to me. and. The very first thing the guy said was, when you're just starting out on YouTube, the best thing to do is just get started. Pick up a camera, hit the record button, and just film something. Because the more you film, the more you'll learn. And then you'll obviously adapt and evolve and change things as you go and tweak things to make them better. So as long as you actually take that first initial step and start, um, then you're already on the right track. The biggest problem for a lot of people is not knowing what to do, so therefore they just don't start. All right. Then the second thing which the guy mentioned, which stood out to me, 
um, is you've got to find your niche. Now, niche is just a fancy word of saying topic. So pick a topic, stick to the topic, and then find an audience, uh, well, target an audience around that topic, that niche. And I don't want to do anything that I don't enjoy doing just to appease the masses. Uh, that's, that's just not me. So I've kind of made the executive decision from this last week or so. The videos I'm going to be making is more or less me walking my dogs, letting the ducks and chickens out, doing various jobs around the allotment, um, which just by recording has... Are you getting wet, Zeus? Are you getting wet? Do you want to come up? There's my boy. There we go. Yeah, check it out quick, it's raining. It's coming down. It is coming down. But the ducks don't care. The chickens... The chickens have taken cover. Oh no, no here comes the ducks. Here they come. There they go. Yeah. Quack, 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 quack. It's raining, girls. It's raining. Look at them, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they love it. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can hear me anymore because of the rain. Sorry, Zeus, I'm not being... Don't mean to sharpen your ear, buddy. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Come on, girls, go inside. Yeah, go inside, there we go. It's raining. It is raining. Alright, look at that. Alright, anyway, I'll have to bring you closer so that you can hear me. Uh, what was I saying? I'm going to be doing stuff around in the allotment and recording myself doing the stuff on the allotment is what's motivating me to actually do something on the allotment. Now, I enjoy gardening, I love looking after the animals, um, I like doing odd jobs around the allotment and I've just been putting off so many. So there's lots of little things which I have to do. I mean, fixing the chicken coop is a big one. I mean, I don't know if you can see behind me that gutter, just up there somewhere, is leaking. Because the gutter isn't being, hasn't been set up properly. So the water hits the back of it and then it's all starting to rot and it's been doing that for a few years and I've got the skills, I know how to fix it, I've just got to get off my ass and go and do it. And by recording myself doing these things, I'll actually get some of this stuff done. There we go, that's a bit better. Not so loud. You know, Zeus, he's always so bored when he comes up here. Even when it's not raining, he just sits around and does nothing. So yeah, my niche, my little topic is going to be animals, allotment, and hey, if something else catches my eye, I don't mind going and doing various different things, but yeah, the bulk of it is going to be this. This is my pride and joy. It's nice. But for now, because it's raining, I think we're just going to go home and relax. Well, here comes April. Here comes April. April! Come on, pups. There she is. 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 Here are pups. Are you okay? Yeah, don't like the rain. Come on, just jump off. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. So we'll try and keep this just a short video today. It's been going for, wow, 30 minutes goes by so quick. Chickens are all good. Yep. Chickens are all good. Well, most of them. Here comes the other ones. Yeah, I'll back off. Come on, girls, inside. I'll obviously leave the door open so when the sun comes out later, because, I mean, let's face it, this is England. It'll piss down with rain, and then it'll be sunshine and rainbows, and then it'll piss down with rain, and then same thing again. Wind and hail and everything all in the same day. We get summer, winter, autumn, spring, all in the same day. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's something I was going to show you. Let me, let me show you my setup, All right? Because I'm using the GoPro now, I can use my phone to show you what it is I'm using. And this is for my amusement and for yours if you're interested. Let's get the old tripod standing up. Yep. Hopefully that's not going to fall off there. All right. Day. So if I take my phone, which is what I have been using for the previous videos, and I, it made me dirty juice. And then I start recording the recording. 
Now that's a picture. <laughs> uh, that's a recording. Then I'll, I'll flip around so that you're looking from my perspective. You can see this is the tripod that I bought. It folds up obviously into a, a handle. Yeah, and it's on an extender pole. That little section there is where the phone sits. Focus. Yeah, it's where the phone was sitting. And the GoPro itself, it doesn't fit in that little space. It's not tight enough to hold it. So I've strapped it to the top by using the... Wait, where's the better angle here? By using the throwaway plastic bracket which comes with the GoPro, I basically, can you see it? I cut it, I made a round loop, and then I put cable ties through it. And that cable tie goes up and under, straps on, and then, where's my finger? On the other side of that blue thing there, I put some double-sided tape. <coughs> so yeah, that's the contraption. Yeah, all fancy fancy, look at me, huh? Upgraded myself. Yeah, and from this perspective, you can kind of see the focus. Yeah, the cable tie just goes over the top of that bracket. Because this, is my finger, this plastic thing, which the GoPro came with, um, it was on a big square, which was sitting in the box. And you'd usually just throw that away, unless you could find a use for it. Because inside the box, there was one of these brackets, but I wasn't going to use that for this. So I did a MacGyver move and got it working. Happy days. And then if we do the the transition back to the other side. Stop that one. There you have it. Uh, closing, closing. This is the Samsung Galaxy A21s, blah, blah, blah. Fancy, fancy. Going to use it for a phone again instead of a camera. There might be... There might be situations where I want to use the phone itself because if I use the phone just standing still looking out it's quite a good image. Walking around, not so good. So, uh, closing the tripod. Been recording for 17 minutes and it's 72% camera. Ah, uh, battery. Alright, so, I'm not good at math. We'll have to just figure the rest out as we go. Alright, my boy, we're gonna go. We're gonna go home. Yeah, we're going to relax. Because, check it out, the weather is nasty. The wind is blowing. Well, this would be a good test for the microphone as well, because it's got like an anti wind uh, feature, sound feature, yeah. So, blow, my precious, blow. Let's see how far it left us. Just out of curiosity. That's the pole maximum extension. And we'll do a little twirly whirly around here. Woof, woof, woof. Sorry, I got the, the morning sniffles. Woof. All right, quack, quack, quack. Oh, I did turn the pump on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just. It's about that direction. Turned it on but forgot to give it the whack. Did I turn it on? Yeah. Stay there. No, I didn't. I did not turn it on. I thought about turning it on. Now I have. Yeah. 
work. What? What? Come on. Third time's the charm. Done. Flick. All righty then. I'm going to go home. See, see, the sun's starting to come out. Where is it? Up there. Blinded by the light. Uh, okay. 20 minutes. That's long enough. So, yeah. My first ever little test video going pro with my black superhero number eight. Um, I kind of know what I'm going to be doing for future videos. Just this and the allotment. And then the golf course, which is just the other side of those trees behind me. And that's the golf course which I walk along to get to my house, which is in that general direction. About a 20, 25 minute walk, depending on how fast I do it. Smash. Um, yeah, simple life. I like the simple life. When you overcomplicate your life, you just get stressed. Okay. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.